Are y'all ready for scandal, drama, and controversy? Because I am. I am. I am. Hey y'all, my name is Jalen and this is Art in Color. Today we are going to talk about an artist who butters my art history drama biscuit, if you will. The museums and I guess just the art world in general tend to have a lot of conflicts and controversy because you know one of the many functions of a museum is to select the artwork that a public sees so some people get chosen and some people don't some artwork is controversial and some artwork is not and so you know a lot of conflict and conflama can come about from that so today we are discussing the work of chris ophelia but before we do that please press that little red subscribe button that is somewhere along the bottom because then you'll get a notification every single time that i post a video and i don't know i feel like it's probably worth it right so here we go Chris Ophelia was born in Manchester, England in 1968. During his upbringing, he actually moved to Nigeria for a couple of years before eventually moving back to London to pursue art in the Chelsea School of Art, eventually received an MFA at the Royal College of Art in 1993. Chris Ophelia is best known for his intricate, sometimes abstract paintings that incorporate media such as beads, resin, magazine cutouts, and glitter. He often references black exploitation films, comic books, African cave paintings, rap music, and mythology in order to address racial and sexual stereotypes in a somewhat humorous way. He's quoted as saying, a lot of black art that came before was set up to critique the system. I thought that was boring. Basically, you would have to be right all the time, and I was not interested in being right all the time. I wanted to be sincere and outrageous and friendly and rude and experimental and conventional. I just wanted to try to be who I am. Speaking of outrageous, this brings us to the sort of PG-13 part of this video. So if you are a young person or you're around a young person or just generally don't want to hear about, you know, PG-13 things, uh, simply skip ahead to a time that I will put here somewhere um, and it'll just take you to the next part of the video. You won't even have to hear a thing. So here's the tape. In 1997, Saatchi Gallery, which is this internationally known gallery, put on a somewhat infamous show called Sensation, and Chris Ophelia was one of several artists featured in the show. Sensation as an exhibition was meant to show off the diverse, often provocative artistic visions of several different young British artists. The works within the exhibition explored uh, somewhat controversial topics such as feminism, racism, gender identity, mortality. Just think of anything that could upset anybody. And they just were not playing around in terms of exploring these often divisive, somewhat sensitive topics. So the exhibition was a traveling exhibition, meaning that works in the show were shipped around to different museums so that different audiences could view the works. Eventually, in 1999, it landed in New York at the Brooklyn Museum. So Chris Ophelia presents his work titled The Holy Virgin Mary. Y'all. Y'all. The Holy Virgin Mary is a canvas set atop two piles of elephant dung. The Virgin Mary is painted as a black woman and instead of a halo, cutouts of women's butts around her head. The background is gold, which is typical of religious paintings. Her blue gown goes down from the top of her head down to the amorphous sort of base of her body, falling open slightly to reveal her chest. The people were not having it. The mayor of New York at the time Mr. Mayor Rudy Giuliani, he did not like it. He called it sick stuff, offensive to Roman Catholicism. He threatened to close the Brooklyn Museum down, kept their monthly subsidies from the city, and uh, started the proceedings for eviction, but was eventually told to back off. Unfortunately, that was not where the drama and the controversy ended. So what had happened was, <laughs> this man pretended to be sick. <laughs> And when the guard came over, he ran past him up to the plexiglass that was protecting the artwork and he threw white paint across the painting. He said that he did this because the painting was blasphemous. Regardless of all of this, Ophelia was awarded the Turner Prize, a prize for British visual artists in 1998. Uh, being actually the first black person to ever win it. He also had major showings in Berlin, London, and New York, all before turning 30, so I mean he is doing fine. And the Holy Virgin Mary was eventually purchased for $4.6 million uh, and now lives with the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Chris Ophelia's work 
products are featured internationally in collections uh, including the Tate Gallery, the British Museum, the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, shout out, and the Museum of Contemporary Art Los Angeles. He's thriving, everything is fine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and I hope you weren't scared off by the drop. <laughs> Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye! Check it. Check it.